okay uh, next we will discuss one more very important problem based on the stress concentration factor okay with respect to axial load condition okay so far we discussed okay last problem we discussed based on the bending moment okay here we will discuss the problem on axial load okay first we will understood the given problem okay the problem is find the value of the maximum stresses induced in a fillet if the stress concentration factor for the fillet box as shown in figure okay find the value of maximum stresses find the value of maximum stresses induced on a fillet if the stress concentration factor for the fillet box as shown in figure okay having a d by d ratio of 1.2 okay they have directly given the d by d ratio in the problem itself it is 1.2 okay this is a problem okay so this is the nature of the problem okay this is a given problem here first we need to note down that okay we need to note down the given data okay we need to note down the given data for thickness of the bar or a plate okay or a box whatever it may be it should be a bar or whatever it may be okay the thickness okay data given data h is equal to 25 mm h is equal to 25 mm which is thickness thickness of bar this is a 25 mm okay and where r is equal to 10 mm flat radius where what is the axial load which is 120 kilo newton 120 kilo newton we can convert that into newtons 120 into 10 to the power 3 newton 120 into 10 to the power 3 newton here what we need to find out as usual the maximum stresses called sigma maximum sigma maximum we need to find out okay so this is the nature of the problem okay here what we need to find out the maximum stresses we need to find out okay as we all know that what is the stress concentration k sigma is equal to sigma max divided by sigma nominal okay so here with respect to axial load condition okay sigma nominal is equal to f by a where f is the load direct load okay which is acting then what is the area cross sectional area of that particular okay so member and a sigma is equal to r by d plus d by d ratio okay this is the nature of the problem okay here what we need to find out the maximum stresses which are induced on a fillet if the stress concentration factor for the fillet bar as shown in figure okay having a d by d ratio of 1.2 this is a given problem okay which is having the a bar is subjected okay one end of the bar is fixed another end which is acting 120 kilo newton the axial load okay which is acting on this particular bar okay which is having 25 mm thickness which is having 25 mm thickness as usual okay from the figure okay from refer refer figure number refer figure number 4.24 okay 4.24 from from new design data handbook from new design data handbook for small r by d ratio okay small r by d ratio okay as we all know that okay so d by d d by d which is given in the problem d by d ratio which is already given in the problem that is 1.2 okay we know that d is equal to okay from the design data handbook d is equal to 1.2 d okay so we can also write it this capital d is equal to d plus 2 r okay d plus 2 r then if you further simplify this if you further simplify this okay further simplify this capital d minus small d is equal to 2 r capital d minus small d is equal to 2 r here capital d minus small d is equal to 2 into 10 capital d minus small d is equal to 20 mm capital d minus small d into 20 mm if you simplify this 1.2 times of d minus here 1.2 times of d minus capital d 1.2 times of d okay here 1.2 times of d minus small d is equal to 20 okay here 0 0.2 d that is equal to 20 d is equal to 100 mm 
okay 20 divided by 0.2 d is equal to 100 mm okay capital d is equal to 120 mm capital d is equal to 120 mm okay so that is the diameters of this particular bar okay for the r by d as well as d by d ratio okay from the figure okay 4.24 from the figure 4.24 for r by d is equal to what is the value for all 10 what is a small d which is 100 okay we will get 0 0.1 okay for d by d capital d small d d by d ratio okay so same thing 120 divided by 100 we will get 1.2 same thing which is given in the problem okay which is both are same what is the nature of the figure should be like this okay this is a r by d ratio okay r by d ratio and this is a k sigma okay so somewhere here what is the r by d and this is a d by d line okay capital d by small d which is 1.2 line okay so what is the r by d ratio here we will get around 1.0.1 .1. okay if you draw one straight line and here you just extend one straight line here the k sigma we will get around 1.8 okay we will get k sigma stress concentration we will get around 1.8 okay this is the stress concentration factor okay with respect to figure number 4.24 with respect to r by d ratio as well as d by d ratio r by d ratio as well as d by d ratio okay so this is the the stress concentration factor uh, for this particular problem okay next what we need to find out with respect to axial load okay for for axial load for axial load sigma nominal is equal to f by a this is a formula of the axial load stress concentration factor with respect to axial load here we know that area of this particular cross section a is equal to h into d okay h into d if you substitute the values in this equation okay where f is nothing but a axial load of 120 kilo newton which is acting on this particular bar okay which is 120 kilo newton 120 into 10 to the power 3 divided by what is the area 25 thickness of the bar into 100 d okay that is the value if you simplify this sigma nominal is equal to 48 newton per mm square 48 newton per mm square this is the stress concentration okay with respect to the okay nominal stresses with respect to axial load okay nominal stresses with respect to axial load okay here then what we need to find out okay we need to find out the maximum stresses how you can find out the maximum stresses with respect to previous problem okay you can see here what is the formula for stress concentration factor that is maximum ratio of maximum stresses to the nominal stresses ratio of maximum stresses to the nominal stresses we know the stress concentration factor from the figure number 4.24 okay with respect to r by d ratio as well as d by d ratio okay which is 1.8 okay so 1.8 is equal to what is the maximum stresses we do not know that is what we need to find out in this problem sigma maximum divided by what is the nominal stresses this is the nominal stresses with respect to the axial load of 125 120 kilo newton okay that is 48 okay newton per mm square if you simplify this sigma maximum is equal to sigma maximum is equal to 86.4 Newton per mm square 86.4 Newton per mm square this is the problem okay this is what we need to find out this is the maximum stresses okay the 
maximum stress is induced in a fillet if the stress concentration factor for the fillet bar as shown in figure okay this is the sigma max is equal to 86.4 newton per mm square 86.4 newton per mm square okay thank you